anyway, we got these uh, two here. Now, these are an ill-matched pair. So a pair of Frisians, papered Frisians. Um, and they're in two entirely different horses. The only thing they've got in common is the fact that they're black. So, if we look at this one on the near side, um, you'll see his legs are much longer. So when he's doing what we'd ask, like an ordinary working trot, he covers more ground. So it's not this horse's fault at all. Um, his neck is longer. Now you say, how can his neck be longer? They're all the same. They're not all the same at all. Um, but this horse's neck is longer. And the consequence of that is getting their edge, you know, to carry their cells more or less the same. It's, it can be done, but <clears throat> it's not going to be easy. So I'd say all match pair. One's got a big stride, one hasn't. If I let this horse go at all, I'm not old, only got a rubber bit in his mouth. And I'm keeping them there, as you can see, with two fingers, you know. That's not a case you need, but you need the skill to keep him there and keep this horse up in the collar working, yeah? Because horse pushes a collar along. You don't pull a car, you know, that, that's a secondary thing. What he's got to do is push the collar along. Well, this horse on the inside is obviously doing a good job of that, um, where he's got a longer stride. So the other fella can't see the point in doing much, he thinks he's doing what he's got to do, which he is. So they're an ill-matched pair. A lot of people think a matched pair is to do with, you know, four white feet, bay horses, you know, but whatever it might be. Well, that is a well-matched pair to look at, but they've got to be a well-matched pair to go to work. And that's the problem. So that's, that's the problem we've got at the moment. So they're in, they're going. They're doing their job, these are older horses, they were broke when they was young and done nothing for years, been laid around as far as I understand. So, you know, what we're doing is just getting them to go, getting them used to the traffic, doing all that type of thing, and get them as close as we can with their heads. Now, both only wearing rubber bits, their own manufacturer rubber bits. So they're, a, you know, a slender rubber bit, not a great big fat thing in their mouth. Um, but two entirely different horses. But you can see these two going along now, all the traces remain tight, they're in step. Not that they have to be in step to keep it going, but when you consider they're in step most of the time when you hear the beats, um, you know, that is quite something really when you've got horse with such longer legs, a different action, um, obviously. Come on, my babies. Obviously, they're going to move at a different pace. But we've got this offside fella who's short and that's why he's on the offside to balance them out a little better with a camber of the road and they're going along together and, and working well so we're going to do a trip today and, and into some you know they're coming to the stage now where they want to have some heavier traffic they've both been either side the pole so these horses are going to do commercial work we already spoke about them being a not quite an even match. They're coming on all right. We're down in the heavy traffic now. This is a day for traffic training. Walk on, boys. They're going away nice there. And obviously, if they're going to be used for commercial work, doing funerals, weddings, whatever, they've got to be able to do this. And they've got to do it. Trot up. They've got to be able to do it, you know, comfortably and happily. But they're not doing too bad. Traffic coming up the inside of them, you know, on a roundabout. All these things they've got to get used to. They're doing all right at the minute. A little bit uptight, but, you know, coping with the road markings, etc. So not doing over bad. You see this one here, he's, you know, he's, oh, dirty, dirty. I've only got bits of rubber in you, see, I can stop him all right. But just a bit silly yet, a bit soppy, you know. You can see there he's jerking about. Come on, let's get on with it, attitude. Um, you see, that's typical of all sorts, you know. Come on, don't restrain me, I want to get going, I want to do. So he's only got, you know, a rubber bit in his mouth. But, you know, there's no point in shouting and, 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 and anything like that or telling him off, just let him know he's got to stand there. 
just be gentle and kind firm obviously walk walk and we've asked him to walk I want him to walk so we'll hold him here just ask him to walk steady boy and just be kind with him and gentle but firm you know he's still got to do as he's told steady and the other horse is coping a lot better with the situation Trot now, trot boys, trot. But they're doing what I want them to do, what I'm asking them to do. I'm asking them to trot, I want him to trot. If I want him to, you know, walk, I want him to walk. He's slowed up, he's got to do that, you know. So, yeah, he come. I'm not really concerned about this horse on the offside. He's doing his job well. And this one's working when he doesn't have to and you know, but he'll learn, he'll come to it. And this is why I say to you, it's a prime example, like every horse is an individual. So you've got two individuals here, couldn't be, you know, different more different. Their attitude, the way they are, their their build, everything, you know, they've got to be treated differently. Youngsters there waving at the horses, etc., taking pictures, all that part of it, all the sort of thing they're going to have to do. You're going up the road here, there's a box on the side of the road or something, been thrown out of a car or blown off of somewhere. You know, he'll look at that, see his ears pricking out and looking, what's that, what's that, Dad, what's that? Am I going to be all right? But you know, going past it, not too bad. Now, a few days ago or a week or two ago, he wouldn't be doing that, he'd be, you know trying to get out of the way of it as though it was a bomb waiting to go off. And this is what I say, it's all about... Steady. Steady. It's all about getting them to do what you want them to do, you know, what you're, you're asking them to do. And doing it without fighting and arguing with them. Oh, he's settled down again now, he's not up, so uptight, but you've got to keep your eyes open all the time with him to see, but normally all she's like this, when they come to the job, you know, when they, when they, you get them to where you want them to be, they normally turn out very good horses, they've got all that uptightness, all them little quirks they have, that's left them, and they become, what I keep saying all the time, they become safe, confident and happy. Well, once you've got them, steady baby, once you build their confidence up, saying, come on mate, you can cope with this, that box is not going to hurt you, this bit of rubbish on the side of the road, this car, you know, air brakes, anything like that, once you, you know, let them understand that it's not going to hurt them and People with umbrellas, push chairs, everything like this, they're not gonna they're not gonna be any no no one's gonna hurt you. And then if you do that, then their confidence grows. And as their confidence grows, so you can teach them more. There's a smile on my face every time I hear that sound. The rhythm of the hoops as they touch the ground And there's no better place I'd rather be Than with my safe, confident horse And there's no better place I'd rather be Than with my safe, confident horse That's happy